Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kairos and welcome back once again to Let's Play Silent Hunter 3. We're just chugging our way over to Grid CG86 after our uh, successful attack uh, last episode. I have been doing some crew management, of course, and reloading. Everyone's very tired after that attack. Uh, we managed to get this uh, aft tube out of the uh, external reserve and I'd like to do the same with this forward chip we still got in the external reserve so I have a um, an even four uh, loaded in the uh, tubes. I'm very much hoping we'll get a convoy attack at some point, uh, preferably before we end up shooting any more torpedoes uh, because that would be nice. We're actually getting close to the point where we need to go home because we are starting to run out of torpedoes but we'll defi definitely get at least one or two more attacks, um, possibly more if we're careful with our torpedoes. But let's concentrate on heading where, we're, where we've got to go. Uh, shouldn't take too long, and I'll probably actually... I've got a feeling that they're following us sort of a line towards... You can see there, we've left a, a trail of destruction behind us, so I think we'll try and sort of stay fairly uh, south of this, of this uh, grid here. But we will move to the next grid and see if we can catch anything over there. Um, particularly in this area here, you can see I've just marked that up sort of southerly area of that grid and try and stay away from enemy aircraft if possible. So we'll uh, we'll do that. I'll just plot a course and um, yeah, I'll get back to you when we uh, when we get there and uh, if we see anything. Okay, well I've started sweeping the area and we've been going uh, to periscope depth periodically just to to have a listen with the hydrofan. I might do that right now actually. It's been a while. Um, Basically, we haven't had any luck yet, but that's mostly because of the weather, I think, not because there's no shipping out here. And we've only just started our patrol of this area. It's now the 23rd of July, so uh, we've been doing really well, actually, getting two ships in one day uh, last episode. So if we go here, you can see that's what we've sunk so far, which isn't too bad. Um, my main problem is I've used up a few too many torpedoes this patrol, but... Um, that's okay, it's still a moderately successful patrol and we could still do better yet if we conserve our munitions, which I do need to reload still. So probably when we get back up on the surface, I'll, I'll get this out of the external reserves and start loading it. The men have rested up a little bit now, so uh, we should be good. We should be good. Okay, well I've just started um, reloading this uh, external. It's going to take a little while, uh, but I'm not too concerned. The storm is uh, buffeting away up there, so we should be fine. Now, if I had uh, Silent Hunter Command installed, you shouldn't be able to do this in such weather, but um, I don't have it installed, so we can struggle up there in the storm trying to get this torpedo uh, into uh, its appropriate compartment. In reality, of course, you probably wouldn't be able to do that, so I'm tempted to wait until, um, until it gets less stormy, but the game is letting me, so I'm going to do it. Maybe next... Uh, series that I make, I'll, I'll install Silent Hunter Command, but for now we're just going to run with uh, with the original settings. So uh, yeah, that shouldn't take too long. Meanwhile, I guess we'll just uh, continue on our course and um, yeah, and see what happens. I just wanted to check the depth quickly here. Yes, we're in deep water. We've been in deep water the whole time, so I'm not too concerned. Let's uh, let's keep going. All right, I've just gone to periscope depth, and it's a good thing I did uh, now. We've only just finished reloading that torpedo, but we have a contact up there. Uh, sound contact bearing 017. Let's have a listen. See what he can hear. In reality, of course, Captain would almost certainly be too busy to come and take over the, uh, the hydrophone. He'd just take his officer's word for it. I can't hear anything there. Am I doing that right? 17. Maybe I, maybe I can hear something, but I, honestly, I can't tell if it's background noise or, or an engine. Uh, but he's definitely hearing something, so we'll take his word for it. It looks like a lone ship. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll surface the boat in a moment. I'm just going to stay down here for a little while and see whether it's heading... Uh, constant distance. That's interesting. So it it might be moving parallel with us. 
Um, but I'll stay down here for a little while and just track it in the hydrophone. We get an idea of where she's going, possibly even some idea of her speed. And then uh, I'll surface and we'll make uh, best speed towards her. Okay, I've just tried to take a speed using the hydrophone, which again uh, would be difficult to do in reality, but it's fairly easy to do when you've got this chart here. Um, and we've got an approximation of her course as well. Obviously, it's hard to know exactly how far away she is, but we do know she's heading, um, well, she's cutting across us, uh, our bow right now. Uh, and I've turned around. We're still submerged, of course. But uh, let's see approximately what kind of speed we're talking here. And this is a very, very rough approximation. Um, what does that say? Seven knots? Possibly six? Six or seven knots. Uh, okay, so that's, that's a rough approximation. Six to seven knots. Uh, she's going quite slowly, so probably just a small merchant. I think it's time to surface this boat. Let's get rid of this uh, clock first. Uh, we should really be good little boys and actually um, check to see what's out there. We would have heard something coming and we won't see much anyway, but uh, it looks pretty rough out there still. I don't think we would have... If there was a destroyer around, we would have heard it. But um, let's uh, surface the boat. Please. And we'll go uh, return to course. All right, well, here we are just charging along at about 15 knots. I thought you might like to see what we look like at flank speed in this kind of weather. It's, it's quite impressive, actually. This is some of the worst weather I've ever seen in Silent Hunter 3. And uh, as you can see, we're, we're making pretty good speed given this, uh, these dreadful conditions. Um, also, the crew's quite tired, so I think that might be cutting another knot off our speed. Still, uh, we're doing really well. Really happy with the crew's performance under the conditions. And uh, hopefully we'll have another kill soon. Uh, providing, of course, she's big enough to be worth a torpedo. But uh, shouldn't take too long to intercept her, even in this weather. Uh, she's only going six knots after all, so let's see how we go. Not long now, and, uh, and we'll have some action. Okay, she's right on top of us. Uh, we've just gone to periscope depth, and the visibility obviously is still pretty terrible. So let's, uh, let's uh, raise the periscope and see if we can see her. It's a good thing we went under when we did, because otherwise we might, uh, might have trouble. Gee, that, uh, that rain's really playing havoc on my, on my vision right now. Can I get the scope up any higher? No, I cannot. Okay, what do they think? Uh, three, four, six, medium range. So it's out there somewhere. Um, three, four, six. Well, in this weather, I'm not... Oh, here we go. Three, four, six, right there. So she's about there. I'm going to keep the periscope up for now. And Oh, hello. What do you have? What do we have here? Ah, uh, damn it. I'm going to try and use the stern. Let's go ahead full. I'm going to try and use the stern tube here. That looks like a bigger ship. I didn't see it. I'm surprised that they did. So let's do this real fast. Um, let's just get that set up. Scope up, please. Where is it? There it is. Just coming out of the mist now. That looks like another medium, medium cargo, I'd say. So let's get this map up quickly, nice and fast. I need to learn to do this quicker. Sorry about that lag. It's, uh, it's not a very happy computer today with all that rain. Come on, where are you? Did I go past it? I don't think so. Hang on. Medium cargo. There we go. Nice and easy. Easy identification. Um, so let's keep turning. Let's do this. We should be fine, down to a head standard. Um, I remember we need to set the torpedo to 10, because this is what we shot at last episode. We might as well shoot the stern tube at it. So let's set the torpedo to 10, 10 meters, maybe. Yeah, that's fine, 10 meters. We're going to be fine. Whoops, it helps if you've got the right tube. Tube 5 set for 10, and we're going to set it for, yeah, we're going to leave it on magnetic fire it on medium probably um, slow down hit slope 
What range are we going to be shooting at? Approximately 700. I'm going to make it, yeah, 700 meters. So we can set that up now. Uh, let me see. Range 7. It was set for 500 last attack, so we're going to be a bit further out this time. Range 700. That's most of a... Uh, oh, speed. Do we have time to get a speed? We could try. Shall we try? I think we will. Um, let's get this down. Damn it. Let's start that. This um, method... I should be able to drop the scope a little bit. Just for now, for periscope discipline's sake. So, 140. I'm not... I'm not sure if I trust this. Have I got full magnification? I think I did. Okay. That's about... I'm just going to use this as a very rough approximation. So, um, that was 30. So, we need 140, which is about... about here. Um, and it was 30. So, move the 100 and 40 it's about there get an approximation that can't be right that cannot be right i'm not sure i'm not doing that right ignore me uh, i need to research doing that properly i think she's going about eight knots so what was it six seven knots so we're going to set it for seven we're going to guess five six seven maybe just a little over seven um, yep, we're ready to go. We've stopped engines for some reason. Let's just go ahead slow. I think we've almost got a, a, um, a, uh, a solution there. I'm a little bit embarrassed that I, uh, screwed up that, um, that, uh, wheel there, using that wheel, because I really do need to practice with that. Uh, I had it, um, I had it down, uh, down to a T a little while ago, and then I didn't play for a while, and I completely forgot how to do it, so... We've got an angle on bow of about 60, 65. Let's do that. And I'll check again in a minute. Helps if you unlock that. I might set the torpedo. No, let's leave it on medium. Um, I'm not entirely happy with that angle on bow. Let's just neaten that up just a little bit. Yeah, I think I got that right. Angle on bow 65, 66, 60, 67. Yep. So we got that angle on bow right. Maybe more like that. I think that's ready to go. Speed set, uh, speed set, range set, angle on bow is set. Uh, let's get some men in the stern torpedoes, please. Uh, we'll just pop these guys in there quickly. We, are, we don't really need them too many anyway. That's fine, and you can go here. I think we are ready to fire. Open tube. Let's have one more look on this thing. That is pretty much spot on. I'm going to aim slightly ahead, just slightly, because I've got a feeling it's... I've underestimated the speed. I don't know. We'll fire about there. Tube 5... Loss. We didn't get the torpedo away. That makes me nervous. Why did we not get the torpedo away message? I don't know. Oh dear, oh dear. I hope I've said that right. I may have overestimated the speed. Yeah, I think I've overestimated the speed. Oh, bloody hell. That's annoying. That is extremely annoying. We might just clip her nose, maybe just. Whoops. Let's have a look. No. Oh, okay, yeah, it did go off. Okay, it did go off. Ah, I hate it when it does that. Okay, we missed the detonation, but I was curious as to what I did wrong there, so. That's annoying. That is annoying. So she's going more like six knots, not seven. Um, but we did hit her. Very, very annoying. I'm tempted to let her go. There's some wreckage there, so we definitely hit her. Um, 
but there's that will be minimal damage so damn it I mean it's such an easy target it's probably worth pursuing for a little while um, so we'll mark her and her basic course and I'll just have to try again uh, win some you lose some. that's why I really need to work out this this wheel I'm not sure what I did wrong there um, I'll have to, I'll just have to look into it uh, practice with it because it throws me off and every time I try using it while I'm filming I get nervous and uh, make a mistake so yeah sorry people please don't yell at me in the comments I do my best anyway we'll pursue this for a while and uh, see if we get any uh, sinking maybe she'll take on a little bit more water than I was expecting although I strongly suspect that even though we've blown her nose off um, her compartments will save her from any serious flooding so um, Basically, we're just going to pursue her for a while and uh, try and get back into position later down the track. Okay, well, we obviously did a little bit more damage than I anticipated. Um, She's slowed down to three knots. I've been keeping track of her speed, um, keeping her in visual. And she's looking pretty low in the water, though I do suspect we're going to need to hit her with another torpedo just to make sure she goes down. Uh, she has settled at about that sort of angle there. She's not going to sink anymore, I don't think. But we'll track her for just a little while longer. There's no harm in doing so. I'm not worried about escorts at this, at this point. So um, basically, we'll just mark a position keep her in visual and keep going for another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so, maybe a bit more. Uh, we are traveling at a nice comfortable three knots. We have men resting, resting up, just taking advantage of, of that. Actually, we need to put you out of there because you're going to get tired. I'm going to do some crew management here, actually, because uh, everyone's getting quite sleepy. But I'll do that off screen. Let's not worry about that now. Put you in the electric engines for a while. Okay, I'm thinking this ship is going to need some help. So she's going about three knots. Uh, we're going to have to put another torpedo in her. We're going to use the last of the type ones, I think. Bugger. All right, well, let's do this. Um, we're going to use an impact, I think. Let's set this up. Impact, set it for fast. Um, range is going to be about 500. And we need the angle on bow quickly. Muy muy rápido. 40 at the moment. We'll let it get a little bit closer. I'll probably wait. I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't enter that right now. 40 to port. 41 to port. Ah, <sighs> speed. I should probably 315 again. 315 her again, but uh, one, two, let's put her just, just under three knots, like that. And um, let's get some men in uh, in the tops, shall we? I don't need all of those dudes in there, so we'll just pick these guys out. That'll do. We've already got, uh, no, already got guys in, uh, got a weapon officer in there now. That's what I forgot to do earlier. So we'll just let her come to us. I'm not going to fire until we've got a better gyro angle, which shouldn't be too long from now. Let's just check the range quickly, because I do feel like we're quite, we are quite close. Is she going? I feel like she's going slower than three knots. 500, yeah, I got that right. I'm going to set it for two, because I think she has slowed down a little bit. Hmm. Actually, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it how it is. I'll just aim straight down the middle. At this range, it's very, it's unlikely we're going to miss, uh, even if I'm not entirely sure about the speed. I mean, I could try and use this thing again, but uh, we saw what happened last time I tried to use that, so let's let's not do that. I think, to be honest, I think this thing is going to take more than... Um, it's probably going to take more than... Uh, whoops. Than one torpedo anyway, no matter where we hit it. These things te seem to take about... Uh, two torpedoes on average to sink, so I don't think we're really... No, I'm not too upset about it, that's what I'm trying to say. 
But anyhow, let's uh, double check this angle on bow. Let's put that right there. And the angle on bow will be about 55 soon. Sorry about that. Another cut there just because uh, bloody YouTube keeps sending me notifications, which is extremely distracting. I need to remember to turn, uh, to log out of YouTube before I start recording. Anyway, I think we are ready to fire and um, we should have an easy kill here. I'll just wait a little bit longer just until the gyro angles. Perfect. Let's open tube four. And the gyro angle is about to be perfect. I think that's fine. Let's stay in the middle there. Check one more time. Did I set the depth? No, I did not. Let's set it for five, six meters, I think. No, five meters is a good, is a good number. Let's leave it at five. Uh, we're ready to fire now. Tube four, loss. And if I get another YouTube notification right now, I'm going to be so pissed. Hopefully, we won't need to worry too much about it. Look at that go. This should be... Whoops. We're really close. I hope we're not too close. Boom. There we go. Sound cut out there for some reason. Not sure what that was about. But there you go. I think we broke her back. So that made up for lost time. Not bad at all, huh? So that, that was the, the nice pretty explosion we were looking for. So, um, much better. Should have abandoned ship, guys. Honestly. There you go. No more, uh, no more, um, merchantmen. That'll go down real fast now. It was already full of water, so that was just the, the tap it needed to, uh, push her over the edge. And now she's, she's just going to sink in minutes. Fantastic. All right, well, another one is down, and now we have an extra uh, medium cargo. So two medium cargoes in the space of two days, but um, not a bad result, I think. So I think we can uh, continue on our course. I might even try and catch this uh, one that was heading in a westerly direction. It's probably gone now. It's up here, so I don't think we're likely to catch it. But we'll keep looking in this area because, yeah, again, fantastic results. Um, we actually chased her all the way back over to CG94 um, again, so that was quite a long, a long chase. We went for 50 kilometers almost. So there you go. But uh, I think now is a good uh, place to put in a break here. Pause, uh, stop the episode, and um, we'll get back to you uh, next time with some more action. I hope we have three torpedoes left. So um, yeah, looks like we might not be attacking a convoy this time round. But hey. I will take the easy kills. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. This has been Kairos, and I will see you all in the next episode.